Hi, this is Brent with Sample Tools by CR2. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to create an effective buildup or the basis of the essentials that go into a buildup. I'm going to be using the same track from the previous video where we looked at how to process the house vocals. And I've basically took the intro segment here and I'm going to use this as the fundamental harmonic section. And we're going to do the buildup based around this here. So currently what we have is this. So apart from the slight riser that is printed onto the demo track, the energy here is not really sufficient to build the emotion on this track. And that's the three main incentives around the actual buildup is one, to build energy and emotion, two, to increase the tension, and three, to make the drop more impactful. And as of currently, the only thing I've done, which is significant but minor, is make a cut here before the drop for, say, one a couple of beats or a bar depending on the production and the track and this does make the uh, impact of the drop feel more increased but again there's a lot more we can do to it to make this just have more energy so i'm going to use some samples here from a couple of different packs we've got house the deep house pack and we've also got some samples from the purple disco machine pack so let's start off with a clap and i'm just using this to uh, build the energy around the track so let me just zoom in and we're going to put this clap on every two and four. And I'm just going to tighten this up slightly. Let's try this. Okay, I'm just going to tighten up the tails on these because it's got a little bit of a sort of reverb or a slapback delay. And let's duplicate this for every couple of bars. Let's have a listen. So straight away we've got some more rhythm in reduced and that is obviously one of the key parts here is having rhythm and building the rhythm up. So one way we can keep this going is by introducing a snare. So first of all, I'm going to do Command Shift B and I'm going to load up a simpler. And let's just hide that browser, give us a little bit more room. And I'm going to take a snare from the Deep House pack and drop it in here. And now what I can do is I can create a MIDI region and this will be useful because it gives me a little bit more control over a number of features such as the pitch and also it allows me to be able to control the timing of the sample a little bit better with MIDI. So let's draw some MIDI in here. And we'll start this actually from the second half of the build-up because we want those claps initially and we'll introduce new stuff I'd suggest every 4, 8, 16 bars. So let's change the grid here to 8th notes to begin with and just copy them across for this entire region and just copy them across for this region. Let's have a listen to how this sounds then. <laughs> Okay, and we'll repeat this for the following bar. And then when we get to this part here, what we'll do is we will group this and change the grid to 16th notes. And now we can just erase these here. We could start a whole new part, probably be easier. And we'll make the build intensify in rhythm. So we have basically essentially double the rhythm from the previous bar. Cool. So again, the energy has built significantly already just with those two layers of claps and snares. Let's pull the volume down slightly. Okay, cool. Now, the reason that I dropped it into the uh, simpler is it allows me to be able to automate the pitch. And this is a really 
useful thing for build-ups. The automation is probably one of the things that I would suggest dialing in the most in this section of your track because you could basically automate the filter, the pitch, the envelope, the rate control of LFOs or even stuff like dry wet mix blends, the decay, you could even enhance the stereo image or narrow it, anything like that is going to increase the energy of the track. So what we're going to do here is we're going to automate the pitch of the snare sample as it plays through to the drop. So I'll go into one shot mode because we don't need the classic or slice mode activated here as it's just a single sample. And if I open up the enhanced view, I'm going to basically automate the pitch envelopes and mount control here. And if we right click on show automation here, we can automate the amount of this over the duration. So I'll start this the second half of the build here with the snare roll. And also on the side here, I'm going to pull this down from 36 because if we pitch it up that much, we'll lose a lot of the body and the energy of the snare. So let's keep it to 12. And if we right click, we can change the grid so that we can increase the build momentarily. We could also do this with a pitch plugin or in another wavetable synth or a sampler, but this gives you a little bit more individual control over every incremental step. I'm doing this basically to a 12 note scale so the intervals are even and consistent. Let's have a listen. <laughs> Cool. So I think you'll agree that the energy is definitely more significant than it was before without any of these rolls, builds or automation. And then I think there's one fundamental thing that we are missing here, and that's a riser. So that's another thing that I have here from this Purple Disco Machine pack. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tweak it to make it suit my project. So it's already got a reverse build on it, which is cool. But what I want to do is I want to fade it in to suit that uh, snare roll there. So let's Tighten this up, and now we should have a really good level of energy building. So I think you'll agree that that has added a lot in just three layers. And if you wanted more control over stuff like risers, you could perhaps take this into another simpler, resample it, or even create your own in a wavetable synth like Serum with their built-in noise oscillators, or again, even use your own field recordings. But a lot of the stuff that comes included in the packs here is a great way to just get the creativity rolling. And they're already produced to a very high standard, and they'll just work as soon as you drop them in your project. You just have to do some simple tweaks to them, like like I've done here, like bring it into the simpler, changing the envelopes, and even just changing the size of the sample. So let's have a listen what we went from. And by building energy and emotion, creating tension and making the drop more impactful using a mixture of automation, the white noise rises, increasing the pitch with automated envelopes, and even just a block of silence, we've managed to go to this. 